So I won't spend a lot of time talking about the structure of this conference. Um, and I will, we'll just get right into our first talk. And one of our co-chairs, uh, Alita Simmons, who's a medical student at, at Loyola, uh, will introduce our speaker. Good morning, everyone. Today I'm introducing our speaker for the morning, Jesus Manuel Estrada. Um, in the community, you may know him as Manny. He's lived in Chicago most of his life in the neighborhoods of Inglewood, Pilsen, Little Village, and most recently, McKinley Park. He was educated by the Archdiocese of Chicago, Visita Visitation St. Agnes, and Epiphany Elementary Schools. He was also, his further education was at Quigley Preparatory Seminary South in 1985. Loyola University, he received a bachelor's in criminal justice. He also attended Roosevelt University where he received his master's in public administration in 2008. He's been employed with Cook County since 1990. His employment highlights include being the administrator for the adult emergency room at Cook County Hospital for seven plus years, lead administrator at, as the Northwest, at the Northwest Cluster for the ambulatory and community network, hospital administrator for Cook County Hospital, and his current position is deputy chief operating officer at CERMAC Health Services for the Cook County Jail. So now can we just give a warm welcome to Mr. Estrada. Let me just get my stuff together so you can hear me. Evidently, it's uh, the, I need to feel, I talk a little bit louder. Stand here in the back, but I make sure I'll speak loud. That's not a problem on my part. I have a big mouth and I talk a lot. So if I get too loud, please let me know. Um, as Elta uh, kind of outlined my uh, my bio, um, I'd like to do a little bit more in detail. The topic of my communication to, uh, of my talk today is co the community in community medicine. Um, I do have 20 plus years in healthcare, none as a provider, but uh, all of it as an administrator. I have had an opportunity and a privilege to really see how we, how you, how all of us truly impact uh, the health and the outcomes of our patients in the community. Uh, I started my career at Cook County in 1990 as a hospital administrator. Uh, I worked there in several different capacities. Uh, I've had people both clinical and non-clinical report to me in that time frame. Uh, and frankly speaking, that was one of the most interesting, uh, demanding and frustrating parts of my career. I was the patient grievance coordinator, which meant I got all the patient complaints. Everybody that had a problem in the hospital came to me. And frankly speaking, it allowed me to really get a feel for hospital operations, how it operates, how things work and to a certain extent uh, allowed me to see how things were at the tail end of a patient's uh, history with healthcare. The hospital is where people wind up when issues need to be resolved in, in an intensive uh, ma manner. That means you're sick enough to be admitted, you can't be treated at home. That means you need intensive therapy, intensive treatment. That is where we wind up when community medicine doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Uh, later in my career, I became the administrator for Cook County Hospital, the old hospital, which saw about 120,000 patient visits a year. Um, that also allowed me to get a perspective on what it was, what it is, to use an emergency medicine department as your primary care health site. Uh, because that was and is the place that many of our patients receive any and all of their health treatment. Um, as currently the state in this country with health care is not, it's not a right to have access to health care. Uh, it is a privilege and it is a privilege that not all of us have. So in certain cases, our patients have to make a decision. Do you eat? Do you feed your family? Do you clothe your family? Or do you get treatment for that chronic issue that you've had? And in most cases, in a lot of cases specifically, here in our community, we have to wait until that issue becomes uh, grave enough for us to reach out and try to get treatment for it. Um, I also, in that time, had an opportunity to really see from a cultural aspect, we impact our patients via the language we speak, via the understanding of the culture we're dealing with. Medicine is not truly and only 
um, a system where you intervene medically by prescribing medication, by prescribing treatments. Um, we do have to and should take into consideration the patients that we work with. Uh, we here in Little Village and in Pilsen uh, and in Cook County have a wide and diverse patient population. Uh, and those aspects uh, play a key role in the outcome for our patients. So again, it's important to culturally understand who we deal with and how we communicate and how we deal with our patients so we can truly impact their, 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 uh, their, their health. Um, I spent seven years in the Ambulatory and Community Health Network, which is a network of ambulatory sites for the County of Cook. Um, there were and are 12 clinics that are situated between uh, Palatine far north and as far south as Ford Heights. Uh, 12 clinics uh, strategically situated throughout the County of Cook. I was the administrator for the Northwest Cluster, which is the entire Northwest Quadrant of the County of Cook, inclusive in that uh, was the Jorge Pieto Family Health Center, of which I was the executive director for many, many years. That, frankly, that uh, time frame for me in the County of Cook really opened up my eyes as to what role we play in the health of our patient populations. Jorge Prieto is the first ambulatory site for Cook County. It's been in existence 30 plus years. Uh, it started off as a free clinic uh, with no affiliation. It ultimately wound up being the first clinic where Loyola University sent their residents uh, for training. Uh, and one of the largest sites right now that they have. We approximately see about 25,000 individual patient provider visits, but in totality, we see about 75,000 patient contacts. Prieto is a centrally situated, all-inclusive healthcare center, which is the ideal for a community, um, a community medicine site. Uh, Prieto incorporates diagnostics like radiology in the form of mammography services, in the form of laboratory services for a wide variety of tests that are out there, um, social work services, mental health services, which is a huge uh, need in our community, um, uh, as well as our providers, both uh, attendings, residents, mid-levels in the form of PAs, uh, a wide complement of variety of nursing staff from RNs all the way down to uh, medical assistants. Um, this site, Jorge Prieto, to me exemplifies what community medicine is. It not only utilizes professionals like yourself, patients like yourself, uh, it utilizes lay people um, to educate our patients. Um, as I said initially, intervention in the form of prescribing medica medication, in the form of uh, giving direction to your patients isn't always what is going to have your patient have the best outcome. Uh, we at Prieto have promotoras de salud, health promoters, that are bilingual, bicultural, that are there to educate our patients. Not only speaking to them, saying X, Y, Z, A, B, C, but truly working towards changing practices in lifestyle showing folks this is the way you cook in order to deal with your diabetes. This is the way you do X, Y, Z in trying to deal and get your hypertension under control. Um, so key for us, I think, and important for us is to not misunderstand or misjudge what role we have in, in community medicine. The outcome of a patient is driven at the community level. You, us, the patients, the parents, the children, the providers, the administrators have a role and an impact in how our patients ultimately, uh, how, what their health status is. If we and when we uh, deal with some of these issues at the community level, we're able to really impact our patients. They don't have to use the emergency room as their primary care site. They don't have to wait until the situation or the chronic illness is to the point where they have to be admitted we can deal with and maintain and hopefully change lifestyles at the community level to really make it a healthier environment. 
We are in Pilsen here, our, our neighbor, Little Village, which is where I grew up. This is my community. This is my neighborhood. Um, are one of the communities, some of the communities that don't have access to health care. Again, initially I referenced in this country, the richest country in the world, the country with the most resources, health is not a right. Health is a privilege, and a privilege that not all, not all of us have. Uh, currently, as we're all aware, hopefully, there's dialogue at the national level on how to have a, a national health plan. Uh, I'm not advocating for one plan versus another, but I am, in my heart, saying that we need to have something that covers all of us, uh, regardless of what your situation is. Uh, if Mexico can do it, uh, which is my country of birth, and Canada can do it, which is our neighbor to the north, uh, there's no reason that we can't do it here in this country. Um, we have health as a component that is a huge, huge economic driver here in this country, both in employment, both in generation of resources, via our pharmaceutical, via our insurance carriers. That is an opportunity for us to really make this one of our healthier uh, countries in the world. This country, even though we have access to all the resources, even though we have access to the technology, our life expectancy, this generation is the first in many, many generations that's actually decreasing. We will live less than what our, what our parents live. Uh, and that's uh, frightening, if nothing else. And it really demonstrates to me that we need to be able to pay attention to health at the community level, because that's where the impact is. Um, Jorge Prieto, again, I feel is the example of what it is to be a health, uh, a community medicine partner at that level. And like Prieto, we have a variety of other partners uh, in the form of federally qualified health centers that are out there. Uh, those are folks that are not government like uh, Prieto and the county, but they're out there to positively impact our health also. Uh, my current role is as the Chief Deputy, Deputy Operating Officer for CIRMAC Health Services, which is the medical provider for Cook County Jail. That means we provide health services to the inmates at Cook County Jail. And what has been an eye-opener for me is that at Cook County Jail, via constitutional rights, our inmates are given the right to access to health care. That's the difference between being here in the community and in my situation being in the jail. Uh, at Prieto, I struggled for many, many years.